have we had a Monday in the WNBA world. Two head coaches have left their positions and now there are some vacancies to fill. First, we had the news of Walt Hopkins leaving his head coach position of the New York Liberty. Then, later on, we received news that Sandy Brondello had also decided that after eight seasons, she would no longer be head coach for the Phoenix Mercury. Talk about two big moves in the WNBA. Now, let me give you a little bit of history on Hopkins. He was hired by the Brooklyn Nets owner, Joseph Desai, back in January 2020, but New York has never won a championship. Phoenix, on the other hand, has won three WNBA titles, and Brondello was able to lead Phoenix to the playoffs, all eight of her seasons. For Phoenix, they may have some big shoes to fill, and so what does this say for Diana Taurasi? If Brondello is gone, is Taurasi going to stay another year? That's what I'm asking you, Swishers. Do you think she's going to stay? Now, there are some candidates for the positions. You have Teresa Weatherspoon, who is probably a good candidate, being that she is a former Liberty, and she has done some coaching work before for the Liberty and is a Hall of Famer. She has also led teams such as her alum, Louisiana Tech. Now, don't leave Sandy Brondello out of the picture just yet. She could come back and take the Liberty job and possibly lead them to the playoffs. I mean, there isn't a time the WNBA hasn't done this before. If we remember Connecticut head coach, Thebault left in 2012 and then was snapped up by the Washington Mystics. We could see the same thing happen here with Brondello. Sue Bird and Becky Hammond could be top candidates as well. Bird hasn't officially announced retirement, but it wouldn't be a bad idea being that New York is close to home for her. She has never really coached before. I mean, she's coached here and there, except coaching from a point guard point of view, which is completely different than actual coaching. Becky Hammond was another option being that she was a former Liberty at one point, but then moved to San Antonio. After retiring, she became assistant coach to the San Antonio Spurs and her salary is about $750,000. Wow, that is more than double what w WNBA coaches make. So would she take a chance and leave that for a WNBA coaching job? Who's to say? Who do you think would be good candidates for both positions? I mean, I'm asking you guys. Go ahead and comment below your thoughts and ideas. Do you think Tarasi's gonna stay with Phoenix? Do you think Bird's gonna re uh, announce retirement and choose a coaching position? I mean, who do you think would be the best option for New York? And who do you think would be the best option for Phoenix? That's all I have for you today, Swishers. Go ahead and subscribe below. And don't forget to join my Facebook group page, WNBA Daily Swish, where you can get all your news, updates. I've been posting about players that are playing overseas. I've been even getting into the NCAA college news as well. So if you want scores for the NCAA women's basketball, I mean, WNBA Daily Swish Facebook group page is the place to be. Also, don't forget to join my TikTok. Okay, subscribe to my TikTok where I can also post information for you guys. Other than that, that's all I have, Swishers, because like I said, if it ain't hot, it ain't a swish.